Sometimes, actually always, you want your footage to match your sequence. For example, this beautiful sunny house. It doesn't fit with my other videos. But after doing this, you won't even notice the original video anymore. It fits perfectly in your timeline. Let me show you how to do this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Step 1. We're going to mask out the sky. To do that, make sure your clip is selected in the timeline and head over to the effect controls. Click and drag the playhead to the first frame of the clip. Next, in opacity, click the pen tool to create a mask. Then click the mask path stopwatch button. This will create a keyframe. You only have to do this if you have a moving camera shot. If your house is filmed on a tripod, you don't need to animate the mask. Now, in the program monitor, create a precise mask around the houses. Don't worry too much if there's still sky peeking out of the mask. We'll fix that later using another effect. So if your camera is moving like mine, grab the playhead and move further in time. Then adjust the mask in the program monitor. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. You can increase the feather a little bit. Again, no need to panic. It's perfectly normal that you still see the sky peeking through. It should look something like this. It's time for step two, adding the sky. That's actually super simple. Find yourself a clip of a cool sky. I found mine on Storyblocks. Drag it underneath your video like this, then select the sky video and head over to the effect controls. In here, click the motion properties. You can now adjust the scale and position of the sky to your liking. Alright, step 3. Let's get rid of the blue sky peeking through the mask. To do that, find the ultra key effect in the effects library and drag it to your clip. Head over to the effect controls and for now, disable the opacity effect so we can hide the mask. Now in the ultra key effect, click the color picker tool. Next to key color, in the program monitor, click the blue sky. That will select the color. Play around with the matte generation properties. For my video, all I had to do is increase the transparency a little. Now the spill is gone, but the sky still looks messed up. Good thing we created the mask, because if we enable it again, the sky will look perfect. Next, we're gonna make sure our clip actually matches the colors and darkness of the sky. And I'm gonna show you how to create these lightning flashes. But first, I I want to tell you about Storyblocks, the plugin I use to download this awesome sky video. It's super useful guys, you just need to type in whatever you need, in my case thunder or lightning and there you go. Tons of clips to choose from. You just click the download button and it will appear in the project panel. You don't have to leave Premiere anymore. Unlimited downloads of diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost. Storyblocks has everything you need in one place. 4K and HD video, templates, music and sound effects. It's like an unlimited source of content that gives you freedom to test, experience and create more effective videos. I use it all the time to test new effects for tutorials or simply to enhance the story I'm telling you guys. You can choose a monthly or annual plan, no hidden costs or no extra fees. Now, this is important to know. The stock library is constantly being refreshed with new content that feels authentic and of course created by real artists, not by an AI. Anything you download is 100% royalty free, pre-licensed and ready for use. No need to worry about legal rights or copyright claims. They've got you covered. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash premierebasics or just click the link down below. Thank you Storyblocks so much for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to step 4, matching the darkness and the colors. So make sure your clip is selected and open up Lumetri Color. In the basic correction tab, that's where the magic happens. First we're gonna get rid of as much orange as possible by dragging the temperature slider to the left. This will push in blue. Since we have a pink thumb under sky, increase the tint as well. Next, pull down the saturation. For me, around 40 works perfectly. Next, we're gonna adjust the exposure. Around the minus 2 to 3 will be perfect. Then I also increase the contrast. If needed, play around with the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks as well. This already looks great, but next we're gonna add some colors. To do that, open up the color reels tab. These are the shadows, the midtones and the highlights. The sliders next to them will adjust the exposure. We're gonna push in some color. In the shadows, I I like to add more of a blue tint. Then for the midtones and the highlights, I added more pink since pink is a brighter color. And look at that. Beautiful. It's time for step 5, adding lightning flashes. All you need to do is an adjustment layer in the project panel, then drag it on top of the clip. Now with the adjustment layer selected, go to Lumetri color and increase the exposure to the maximum value. Now back in the timeline, we're gonna animate the opacity curve on our clip. It's super simple. Let's drag the entire opacity curve down for now. Next, move the playhead to the moment where a lightning bolt strikes and then hold down control. Click on the opacity line to create a keyframe. Add a second one right next to it, then click and drag the second one up. Create a third one and bring that one down again. The higher you bring the middle keyframe, the brighter the lightning will be. That
that way you can really play around with the brightness of the lightning. Super easy. Now let's add some sound effects and there you go, a masterpiece. Next we're gonna learn how to copy a color grade from a movie and paste it on your own videos in the next lesson on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.